In today's show, we have a story about winter driving, hey, Bikes. I'm here a stand-up with Allie, and a new segment called Guess the Teacher. Hey Bikes, I'm Savannah. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SBTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SBTV. Here are your daily announcements. FCCLA is holding a veterans food drive. Make sure to turn in your canned food into your kelp. The kelp with at least 50 items will have the chance to pie their teacher. Students taking college classes need to enroll by next Friday. See your counselor if you have any questions. Also, if you're interested in taking ACT prep classes, the forms are now available in the front office. Madison, what have you thought about all this bad weather? I don't like it at all. I miss summer so much. Well, you're in luck because we have a story on driving in bad weather. Winter weather can lead to serious accidents. Here are some ways to keep yourself and others safe. When you drive, you need to be mindful of everything around you, not just yourself. Uh, you know, a lot of times, if you're just driving down the road, minding your own business, you know, buying the traffic laws, and, and then somebody, let's say somebody runs a stop sign or comes up to a stop sign and look and make sure that person's going to stop. It doesn't hurt to slow down um, in case they do pull out in front of you or something like that. Just once you get in a wreck, it's just, that's so much money and the danger of like actually getting hurt. Well, obviously, most people nowadays have a cell phone. Uh, but if you're traveling and you're going to be in some rural areas, make sure, you know, let's say you don't have cell phone coverage. Uh, you know, make sure you have blankets, make sure you have water. Um, maybe you're stuck for some period of time. Maybe you should have some food. Uh, have a way. Make sure if you're going to travel somewhere, let somebody know, okay? And let's say the weather is, is bad. Okay, I'm leaving now. It's going to take me this long to get to where I'm going and tell them the route you're going to go so if you don't make it they can backtrack the route maybe find you. Fortunately we as you go through life you have to drive in bad weather uh, so basically you should uh, plan your route where you're going to go uh, check the road conditions uh, if it's extremely bad weigh the options if you really have to go. Well that really helped Let's head over to Savannah West Sports after this quick commercial break. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like, go touchdown bowl, man. Like, get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. Tonight's District Wellness Night. Ali has more information. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Miss Thermley to talk about the Wellness Night. So when is it? It is tonight uh, from 6.30 to 8 at Northern Hills Elementary School. And why should the high school kids go? This is actually the last Wellness Night of the year, the entire year. So if you are a second semester PE student and you need um, some PE makeups, tonight would be the last and only opportunity to go for this semester. Awesome. If you need to make up PE credits, make sure and come tonight. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to come and have a great time. The theme of the girls' basketball game this Friday night is Hawaiian. Students, make sure to pack the student section. This Friday, Jeffrey Halstead will sign a letter of intent to play soccer at Heston College. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Let's head on over to Madison to see what the weather will do. Hey Vikes, here I have your weather today. Um, today it's going to be cloudy and then tonight it's supposed to start snowing. And then here's your three day forecast. Friday it's supposed to be cloudy and then Saturday and Sunday it's supposed to be partly cloudy. Now back over to your anchors. 
Today we have a new segment called Guess a Teacher. Let's go see what it's about. I know that's a woman. No, that's a guy. There's, there's, a, there's a guy. Anyway, that's a clean teeth. To be oh wait, is that the auxiliary dancer teacher? Miss guys. No, miss not, hurt. it's not. Miss hurt. No, 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 miss no, hurt. It's no. miss hurt. I oh like yes, it. it's miss hurt. hurt. It's not miss, miss guys. Hurt. Oh great. Oh no. god, I don't <laughs> check ears, teacher. <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> miss Riley. I don't know who is she. <laughs> That's the teacher that you had. <laughs> Sorry, I don't pay attention to teachers. That was the teacher when we first walked in. Oh, that girl. <laughs> Mr. Ruda. Yep. I don't know what's going on in the school. I was going to say Mr. DeLeonardo. Ah, I already know this. Because I'm Seattle. Miss Schaefer. Who's that? I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. You wouldn't know because she's my English teacher my ears. Oh. Yeah, it seems like you're a little mad. You got Anderson on your shoulders. If you look so familiar, I've definitely seen this before. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Come down my chimney. <laughs> Dude, maybe it's Miss Lippy. <laughs> Miss Lippy's cat. Oh my gosh, it is Miss Lippy's cat. Aww. Final answer. Um, my final answer will be. <laughs> Are you trying to look up? I'm just giving some perspective. Um, Nicholas Cage. Those were some pretty funny reactions. If you want to be on next week's episode, contact us via email. Have a good day, bikes. Make sure to email us if you're interested in being in the next episode. That's all we have for you, bikes. Have a great day.